Hey, Rocco. Um, just the, what did you think of the bullpen as a whole and, uh, and the effort they put forth today? Yeah, Dan, the, uh, the bullpen uh, train came in in the fifth inning. And, I mean, every guy, one after the other, came in, um, locked and loaded and throwing the ball exactly uh, the way that, that we would want them to. And everyone looked sharp. Um, and not every one of those guys was, I would say, well-rested. They just went in and uh, did the job. And, I mean, I don't know what the mindset was collectively down there today, uh, but I'll tell you what, the way they were throwing the ball, um, just one guy after the other, uh, that's how that's how you win good, tight ball games. You, you get efforts like that from your entire group, and uh, fantastic, fantastic day for all of them, on top of a very, very good start from Bailey Ober. Uh, with Jorge um, Alcala, he uh, he's thrown that changeup a lot more. And as far as going, um, how, how important is that as a building block against left-handed hitters who pretty much have done very well against him? Yeah, Jorge is coming up with, well, he's making adjustments is what he's doing. And he's going out there and um, figuring out that, you know, sometimes facing left-handed hitters as a whole and facing, uh, you know, left-handers and right-handers are, are going to be different. And, and you're going to have to have, uh, you know, I, I, I end up calling them tricks sometimes, but you end up coming to have a different approach and, you know, some different, uh, uh, you know, you're trying to accomplish some different objectives um, ultimately. And what he's doing is he's, he's going out there, he's working before the game. Uh, the mental side of the game is something that um, he spends time on and he, it's very important to him. And we've seen him grow. We've talked about his growth. Uh, he's fallen into a very nice role for us, um, but he's attacking these left-handed hitters with much more confidence. He's attacking them uh, in the zone. He's he's getting swings and misses uh, in and out of the zone. I mean, he, he's just uh, he seems like a guy um, that is not concerned with who he's going out there to face. He's he's just going out there to make the pitches that he knows that he has to make, and he's he's executed. More on the. And while we're on the topic of the bullpen, um, Luke Farrell, I think this is the second time we've seen him pitch with a one-run lead this year. Uh, what have you seen from his uh, progress, I guess, that's uh, given you the confidence to keep pushing him into these spots? Yeah, Luke's, Luke's been very sharp, too. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's gone out. He's thrown strikes. Um, you know, he's thrown the fastball, I think, in the parts of the zone where he wants to throw the fastball. And then he can really spin the ball. I mean, he can do different things with his with his breaking ball. And he has the kind of breaking ball um, that from the side and even standing behind him in spring training and uh, behind the screen and watching him throw. It's not a very comfortable type of breaking ball um, to to attack, I think. I think it's one that kind of pops out of his hand in kind of a deceptive kind of unique way. And then has that extra bite on it at the end, and and I think he he knows what his strengths are, and and he goes out there and and ultimately makes good pitches. I think he has the stuff where he's going to get good results if he makes the pitches he wants. Not every guy um, can say that. It's the big leagues, and it's tough. Sometimes you make good pitches and don't get the results you want. But he's the kind of guy when he's executing, it, it's hard. He ma he makes it hard on the opposition, uh, and he's been very good. He's he's uh, he's been doing a nice job, and we didn't hesitate to put him in that spot today.